China's revolutionary technology in house construction is set to revolutionize the housing industry. Back in November 2019, reports emerged about China's achievement of erecting 20,000 homes within a mere three-day span in Africa. This video highlights the astounding housing construction technology implemented by China, bringing about significant changes to life in Africa. How is it possible to construct a single house in such a short time frame? While one may initially think it's implausible or eccentric, China has successfully developed a unique method that enables the construction of an impressive 20,000 homes within just three days. Could this innovation offer a viable solution to the prevailing housing market challenges? To commemorate this extraordinary accomplishment of constructing 20,000 homes in Africa within three days, a massive gathering of tens of thousands of Chinese citizens took place. Notably, South Africa has recently commenced its inaugural and most expansive urban project. The ambitious city project carries a price tag of $300 million and will occupy a vast expanse of 497.22 hectares of land. The rapid development of China has surprised local Africans, while South Africa is widely recognized for having the strongest economy globally. However, it is important to note that the insufficient availability of housing in South Africa has a significant adverse impact on the country's economy. Currently, Africa as a whole is actively engaged in urbanization efforts, with approximately 472 million people residing in urban areas across the continent. Given the already crowded nature of African cities and towns, it begs the question, why does the lack of housing pose such a critical challenge specifically in South Africa? With a population exceeding 60 million, South Africa is situated as the southernmost country in Africa. In reality, it boasts the second largest economy on the continent, trailing behind Nigeria. The standard of living in South Africa surpasses that of other African regions, considering its historical ties as a former British colony. However, a significant wealth gap still persists, leading to considerable hardships for those at the lower end of the social hierarchy. Many individuals in South Africa continue to face homelessness due to the inability to afford expensive rental properties. Despite the construction of 3 million homes since 1994, approximately 14% of the population remains without a permanent residence, forced to live on the streets. According to data from other urban centers, Johannesburg experiences an annual influx of 100,000 individuals. Indeed, even in Gauteng, which is the most prosperous territory in South Africa, there is a requirement for lodging among framework laborers. The mainland all in all is wrestling with an extreme lodging deficiency because of its expanding populace and quick urbanization. South Africa has taken steps towards addressing this issue. In 2013, there was a proposal from the United Kingdom to utilize 3D printing technology for constructing homes, which garnered global attention when South Africa adopted a similar approach. However, the cost of 3D printed homes remains prohibitive for the majority of South Africans, particularly those from low-income backgrounds. Therefore, conventional tools supplemented with Velcro are being employed. The construction of new dwellings aims to alleviate the burden of rental payments for low-income households. South Africa has sought assistance from China in order to construct additional houses that can accommodate its entire population. For the first time, a Chinese company is employing prefabrication techniques to develop affordable housing in South Africa. The collaboration between South Africa and China aims to jointly build 20,000 homes. The news of China's affordable and delightful housing options presents a challenge to suspend disbelief. Through the employment of prefabricated structures, China has achieved an extraordinary feat within a remarkably short span of three days. The model home has garnered high praise from South Africans who have had the opportunity to witness it firsthand. The success of prefabricated buildings can be attributed to the implementation of prefabricated concrete wall panel structural systems. These construction components are manufactured at the Green Building Technology Park, from where they are transported to the assembly site. Once the necessary preparations are made, the main structure can be swiftly erected within a single day, completing the entire construction process within the three-day timeframe. The final step involves the decoration of the model home, 
after which it becomes ready for occupancy. This innovative solution has the potential to address various housing challenges in South Africa. It has been suggested that South Africans have received valuable knowledge from China regarding advanced technology utilization. Assistance from China in this regard could greatly benefit South Africa. China offers more than superficial construction expertise, providing comprehensive support. Taking proactive measures today can effectively mitigate housing difficulties in South Africa. In what ways has the housing situation impacted the local community? China's experts in lower tech management have made significant contributions to South Africa's economy. This is because securing people's livelihoods holds the utmost importance. As per popular opinion, approximately 95% of the workforce involved in this construction project consists of South African individuals. These skilled builders actively contribute to the growth of the local population and the utilization of native construction techniques. China has expressed a desire for increased employment opportunities. If the employment rate experiences a positive trajectory, it is anticipated that the South African economy will witness growth. In the event of a successful implementation of this endeavor, the local authorities are likely to express gratitude towards China for its valuable assistance. Consequently, South Africa is actively seeking innovative avenues to collaborate with China in order to establish a new metropolis that holds the potential to become a global city. South Africa is particularly interested in attracting Chinese investors for this initiative. The vision held by many South Africans entails the development of a new metropolis spanning over 1,600 hectares. Within this metropolis, there will be designated residential areas as well as commercial zones that can accommodate up to 100,000 individuals. Moreover, this new city will incorporate essential amenities to ensure a secure and comfortable living environment. According to estimates provided by the Shanghai-based Chinese company ENDI, the project is expected to span a duration of 15 years and incur a total cost of $8 billion. The enhancement of China-South Africa relations is bolstered by two prominent factors. South Africa has expressed concerns about the trade imbalance and Chinese investments in its industries, leading to a complex relationship. Some South Africans are apprehensive about China's influence on their politics and economy. However, China has emerged as a valuable partner, and African nations may find it necessary to engage in trade with China. China is actively involved in constructing infrastructure in 35 African countries, including Angola, Nigeria, Sudan, and others. China has also initiated various overseas ventures, particularly in the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC. The South African economy is divided evenly between transportation and energy generation, primarily through hydropower. The Information and Communications Technology ICT, industry holds the third position, mainly focused on equipment supply. Water projects have not received as much attention. A subtle sign labeled China Road can be found outside Nairobi, Kenya, directed towards the Great Wall Apartments, a recently built housing complex that bears a resemblance to Chinese concrete buildings. Chinese developers are engaged in the construction of various infrastructure projects in African cities, including subways, roads, and towers. The Go West Project, a prominent think tank focusing on megacity development, recently shared a series of images depicting the impact of China's involvement in seven major African cities. The Go West project involves a collaboration between Dutch urban strategist Mikhail Holshoff and Shanghai architect Dan Ragavan. Holshoff acknowledges that China is attempting to export its urban development model to other parts of the world, and their expertise in this area is evident. It is noteworthy how Africa, as a continent, showcases remarkable potential, and China's influence extends globally. A number of African towns currently have access to Chinese media outlets such as China Daily and CCTV. Some communities even have Chinese language schools, while the Chinese government provides scholarships to eligible African students pursuing education in China. Additionally, Africa is witnessing the popularity of Chinese smartphones and bicycles. Despite the rapid progress, it is important to note that the pace of development in Africa is comparatively slower than that of China's megacities. 
Out of the original plans for 50 industrial zones, six have been successfully established. Overall, China's innovative housing construction technology in collaboration with South Africa have the potential to address housing challenges and stimulate economic growth. The partnership between the two countries has the capacity to create employment opportunities and foster development in South Africa. As China expands its involvement in infrastructure projects across Africa, it is becoming an influential player in shaping the continent's future.